Entara Tassadar fellow Protoss players, my name is Kyle Aris, and today we are going to be looking at a PvP between Insolent and Adele Scott, who is hailed by Day9 as a fantastic Protoss player, and he's on about him all the time, and Day9 loves this kid, he really does. Or he might be a man, I'm not quite sure, I, <laughs> either or. Um, but yes, Day9 can't stop talking about Adele Scott, he loves him, he is his man crush. Uh, anyway, um... Adele Scott, very widely known by all Day9 viewers as one of the people who likes to use a lot of Protoss macro play. Uh, and hopefully we should see some of that in this game. Uh, I'm not Again, I'm not sure when this uh, was played. However, I do know it was before patch... Oh, crap, what have I done? There we go. Um, I do know that it was before patch 1.1, so um, the Zealot change has not come into effect just yet, so uh, nothing being affected during this match. However, we do see a very early probe scout from Insolence coming out to have a look right after throwing that first pylon down and a gateway now going down for Insolence as well. So Adele Scott going to be getting his delay. Is that an early gateway? Yes, that was quite an early gateway for Insolence there, and Adele Scott now throwing down his at 12 supply. Insolent's going to be seeing this and knowing that he has slightly the upper hand in gateway control there. Maybe going to pump out some zealots in order to be able to do a little bit of uh, harass in the beginning. And Adele Scott just doing a bit of chrono boosting on his warp gates as well as Insolent's doing on his warp gates. What am I on about? On the Nexi. Nexi. Nexus's. Ne Nexi is the correct word, I believe. Anyway, we do see an assimilator going down for an Adele Scott, as well as this probe harassing this other probe and throwing down his second gateway in order to no doubt deal with any early pressure that he does see coming from Insolence. And uh, Protoss versus Protoss games are always very hard for me to cast since I'm having to focus mainly on both of the players. And we do see now Cybernetics Core going down for Adele Scott as well. And but at this point, uh, Insolence is very, very far behind on the production. We do just see now his uh, Cybernetics Core going down. But Adele Scott has already got her second gateway in production as well as that Cybernetics Core halfway finished, whereas Insolence is, is only 25% finished. Don't trunch my tralala. -la -la. Very nice, Adele Scott. That's pretty cool. Actually, that made no sense, and that reminds me of something very, very bad that we did today. We went to see a film, and it made no sense. Well, it did make sense, it was just terror bad, like the worst acting I have ever seen in a big budget film for a long, long time. Uh, the film of which I speak is Avatar. Oh, and all these probes now coming out in order to fend off this zealot, which is very early, since Adele Scott has no zealots or anything like that of the sort. So now a probe also coming in with him in order to get an advantage if he did train anything. But now two stalkers are coming out from Adele Scott in order to be able to fend off this. A second zealot now coming in and a third on the way maybe. No, he is pulling back with these troops. So good uh, kind of early pressure there from uh, Insolence actually piling on, on a little bit. Um, and now throwing down a second gateway. But yeah, good early pressure there in order to be able to see what he's going on in Adele Scott's base. It's always very nice to utilise these initial units as much as possible. Try and get some damage out if your opponent doesn't have any units. And we do see now these two stalkers running across the field. I imagine Adele Scott does think that he only has two zealots, but a zeal two zealots and a stalker is going to be able to fend this off pretty easily. Maybe they were just rallied bad, because they were rallied to that unit and maybe he didn't notice them. Uh, but he is going to be able to pick off this zealot, no doubt, if he he can get chance and now moving did you see <laughs> wow that was pretty good he moved the wounded one back uh, whilst keeping the this one in position in order to be able to fire at the zealot that was really good play by Adele Scott there just getting an extra shot off on that zealot in order to be able to force it back we do see now a third gateway going down for insolent oh my god these two players have the hardest names to say in the world this is pretty hectic um, <laughs> a, a third gateway going down for insolence and Adele Scott quite happy to just produce off these two gateways as well as get warp gates out and we do see warp gates coming out for insolence as well. We now see a robotics bay going down for insolence so very nice kind of three gate robo bay uh, play from insolence. It's a very kind of safe build. Two gate robo is also very safe uh, in order to be able to make sure you can deal with any kind of like tricky things that people do with like invisible units so you've got that observer in play in order to be able to counter that and a nice pylon going up in order to be able to warp units into a forward position for Adele Scott in the front of his base. Do you see now a forge going down so probably going to be wanting to get some upgrades very quickly or 
secure a fast ex uh, an expansion with some cannons at the front here. Insolence now moved this probe out to see if there was an expansion, but there isn't. And this probe is going to be picked off very, very quickly by these forward units. Photon cannon now going at the front of Adele Scott's base. Interesting positioning. I was expecting him to either secure this uh, forward area in front of his base, but it appears not. Getting uh, weapons plus one. We do see a robotics bay now going down for insolence as well as that observer coming out. So again, as, you, as I said before, very kind of safe play from insolence here. Um, getting this observer out in order to make sure that Adele Scott's not doing anything tricky with DTs or anything like that. Two more warp gates now going down for uh, Adele. I'm going to be warping in these warp gates now. That did finish quite a bit ago though, so Kind of bad management there on Adele's part. Not getting any immortals just yet, although they would mince their way through these stalkers. And there's a lot going on in this game, in essence. Um, although I wanted to talk about Avatar some more. Mm, the film I went to see. Oh well, it doesn't matter too much. Um, just know that it was terrible, terror, terror, terror bad. Absolutely terror bad. Absolutely terror bad acting from the main characters. The only actor that did redeem it somewhat was the uncle of some bad guy who was actually pretty damn good uh, and now this observer seeing everything that's going on in the Del Scott's base and these warp gates just warping in here do see now a colossi and the colossi number one coming out for insolence and not getting this range upgrade just yet they don't necessarily need this up range upgrade if you mi micro them properly and now Pylon's going down in nice positions for Adele Scott in order to be able to scout every single corner of his base effectively. And a Twilight Council now going down for Adele. I'm surprised neither of these players has tried to kind of expand yet. We're approaching the 10 minute mark of this game and neither has even hinted at expanding. So, oh, although we do see Insolence throwing down a Pylon here, maybe in order to secure what could be an expansion at this position here. And now moving out with this first Colossus, going to give him a slight advantage against this ball of units. Although that being said, I would like to see Adele Scott get Blink and he is getting Blink indeed. Sorry, I didn't look at that production tab, but and he's also getting Ground Weapons level 2 as well. So going to be in a nice position in my opinion although warping in insolence warping in this forward pylon here and not just able to reinforce he does have quite a scary ball of units here especially this colossi but if he can get this blink out um against this colossus he's going to be in dire straits insolence so now adele scott is seeing this push coming up his ramp anytime soon uh, although nice positioning of these zealots, he's going to be trying to capture as much as he possibly can with this sentry and warping in a few more stalkers in order to be able to rain down the pain. Although he does get the sight of this high ground and he is now force fielding in a strange position. Oh, that was Insolence's force field and Adele did try to force field but these Colossus are going to be able to walk over those force fields. No problemo since they are massive units. We do see now this, oh, this sentry went down. We got in a bad spot, that sentry, at that point. And these stalkers trying to get away as much as possible, trying to rain down as much damage on these stalkers and colossi as possible. And one stalker does go down, and all these probes getting in, in the mix. But now they're getting vaporized by the colossi. Although the colossi are being taken down now by all these stalkers. And more stalkers being warped in. And blink, nice blink there, trying to intercept the unit of insolence. And even though he's lost all his probes, Adele Scott is in a position of power taking out all these units. He's going to need to make a counterattack really fast as he has no income at all. So this is going to be a, a race to the finish for Adele Scott at this point. He cannot get himself back into this as unit production goes. So he's going to have to get up to the opponent's base as quickly as possible. And that is exactly what he's doing. He's going to be moving up here and trying to take out what pylons he can. But an immortal, very nice choice by Insolence there. I need to breathe. And oh, we see a lovely blink there across the units. And he's going to be taking out these units, trying to take down the immortal. He needs to take down the immortal as it's shredding through all these st stalkers. And he's now warping in a few more zealots in order to be able to try and deal with this. But seven stalkers are going to be able to rip apart these uh, zealots. He needs to take out the production ability of insolence and these probes running away now. Whilst he is producing another immortal and trying to warp in some more stalkers and zealots in order to be able to reinforce this position. All these probes now charging at these stalkers in order to be able to try and fend them off. A nice blink there moving away from these pro uh, probes. And now oh, all these probes. Uh, buildings are now underpowered from Adele Scott so uh, all insolence probes uh, buildings are unpowered so now trying to pick off as many probes as possible keeping away from them as they will do a lot of damage if they get surround on these stalkers this is crazy ladies and gentlemen so now we see a lot of stalkers moving trying to kill all these probes doing a very very good job kiting this 
this immortal here is badly wounded trying to get a few shots off on these and getting really big shots off on them this oh, immortal does go down there now so five stalkers to these probes and if he can take down these probes he's going to be in a really good position as insolence to not warp in any more units he, that stalker did get surrounded and he's now just microing back and I think Adele Scott does win after the GG from insolence a bloody close game there ladies and gentlemen but we do see Adele Scott is the victim so thank you very much for watching that guys that was a bit more entertaining than the normal PvP uh, shit <coughs> for gate for gate that we normally get but it was good so yeah uh, thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you guys next time and uh, next time I'll rant about Avatar because it was rubbish ha ha ha